so uh, I'm going to uh, explore my neighborhood. <laughs> I'm basically going to walk in a certain direction and then um, maybe along the way find some uh, good stuff. I wonder if that machine this is common to have these like drink machines near your home. Usually there's like tea or coffee in there. What if I then use my card? I didn't take any money with me. Uh, looks like I can. But it uses the kind of card that you uh, has the chip in it. And I, I think that's what that is, but mine, mine does not. I don't have any money on me. It's fine. And it also might rain. It's kind of sprinkling right now. Um, it's kind of raining now, but hopefully it's a, uh, some clouds passing. Because um, it, it kind of rained a little bit, just sprinkled, and then the sun came out. It's sort of, sort of peeking through. I might have to turn back. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. It's starting to pick up a little bit. I'm just going to see how it goes. So I am in Okinawa. Okinawa, Japan. Okinawa is a prefecture of Japan. I'm trying to figure what that would be equivalent to in the States. Oh, I'm starting to hear the rain fall and stuff. I might have to turn back, but I'm not sure. I might. Um, oh, there's cacti in there. <laughs> awesome. Funny I didn't see this when we drove past it yesterday. Um, that's a nice door. <laughs> there's some actually nice houses over here. Um, as far as I know, Okinawa is pretty cheap as far as living. Like, um, you could probably take your average, uh, I don't know, there's not a national average on minimum wage in the States. I think it, I, I think it, it varies depending on where you are. Um, you know, cost of living. Um, but I say most minimum wage in the United States, and no matter where you live, would you'd be fine living here? Um, yeah, in Okinawa. I'm not talking about mainland Japan. I think you might be screwed. Um, <laughs> it is expensive there. Wait a minute. I'm not. You know what? You want to know why this doesn't look familiar? Because I'm not going the way we went yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to the residential areas. I'm not really going on the road. Yeah. Maybe this makes sense. Ah, the Okinawan lions. It's sort of like the national. Okay, you know, I was trying to figure out okay, what, what Okinawa would be, a prefecture would be equivalent to the United States. So a lot of times you have, we'll call something a town. Like in New York, they'll call the little, uh, yeah, like I think in San Diego, where I'm from, they'll call something a county. Like you have San Diego, and then you have counties, and then it's divided into counties. Um, and that's pretty much it. New York, I think, their equivalent of a county is a borough. They call them boroughs. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. Um... See, Okinawa is separate from Japan, so, see, I don't think it's big enough for you to call it like a state, right? Um, so I would probably say, you know, because Japan is like a series of islands, really, almost like Hawaii, but I think, I think Okinawa might be equivalent to, say, a county, maybe. I might be safe.
It's not a state. Um, it's not too big. I mean, you, you could go from one end to another uh, in a few hours. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, you know, less than a day, it wouldn't take you that long. Oh, one thing that's cool, yeah, you have the small streets, you also have smaller cars. And most of these are the same manufacturers you see in the U.S., but they make the cars differently. Um, Dahatsu is very popular here, that, that brand. It is kind of raining, but it's tolerable. I like some of the cars here. I mean, these, a lot of these combat cars are awesome, which isn't really a big deal here, but like they would, they would really be hot in the U.S. Um, some of these look like Scions. But, and there are some, there's a few signs here, but mostly not. Um, okay, I'm, you know what? I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna be rude. And, let's see. I'm just trying to figure out where I should cross. Yep. Let's cross here. I'm wondering if you took a car from here, if you could just drive it in the States, because the steering wheels are on the opposite end of what you would see in a, an American vehicle. Or do you actually have to have it adapted for that? Yeah, that's where he has an umbrella up. I think I'm fine. I mean, I feel fine. stays like this, I'll be fine. It's not too bad. Oh, another thing you'll notice, um, something I think unique to Okinawa, because it, it rains a lot here. I mean, think Seattle. <laughs> um, except they have monsoon season. Um, you'll notice these, uh, these uh, like concrete grates, that's drainage. And it goes down pretty far. And if you were to see a curb, you'd see, oh yeah, we're, we're approaching one at this intersection. Um, the curb is elevated a little bit and there's crazy drainage. So um, everything is adapted for uh, like, it's going to rain a lot and you don't want areas to flood. <laughs> you know? So um, people are into recycling a lot and just being, trying to be more efficient with what you use. So, you don't see a lot of trash all over the place because if there was, stuff would get clogged. Well, here's an example of the uh, drainage here. Um, yeah, you'd be screwing yourself. Makes you wonder, what's our problem in the United States? <laughs> oh, okay. I remember where I was. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cross here. I went this way yesterday. I remember this little uh, elf looking guy. The remains of Kina Kilm. I don't know what that is. restaurant right here. I am approaching a, uh, a grocery store. I remember... Get your bento box on. They have bento boxes there. I wonder, does that mean school crossing or does it mean uh, there's a school near? Or is it a bus stop? Eh, maybe, I'm not sure. Something having to do with kids in school, obviously. Citizen jogging. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. It's a school zone. Okay. Art icon's awesome. <laughs> I say, um, if, if you're on the internet a lot, you could, you could pretty much figure out where you're going in a place like this, because even if it's in another language, you know, there's symbols that say, okay, like that one's like little kids with backpacks, obviously, that was, at least to me, obviously, that was school, and I was right about that, so, it's a school, that's cool. I took some underwater footage the other day, but it was it kind of sucked. I wasn't dressed for it, so I'm gonna um, as soon as I get a wetsuit, I'll uh, and uh, you know some diving gear, um, not a rental. I'm gonna buy the stuff. I'll uh, whatever comes first. I'm gonna film some stuff. But I just moved here, so there's other things I have to get. There's a, right now we're in something called Golden Week. So um, it's basically a combination of a several holidays, but they combine it into um, about five days. So a lot of things were shut down, um, including my internet. Can't get the, uh, well, the internet isn't shut down. I never had it. We can't set it up yet. So yeah. I think I'm almost to the store. I'm not sure. I think that's it. It's still raining. It doesn't seem to have. Oh, this is a. Uh, oh, it's a. Uh, a um, gas station. Not what I expected. Oh, something interesting about the gas stations here. Uh, they still do uh, full service. So people will uh, pump gas for you, clean the windows, check the oil, that kind of stuff. female attendants. She's like, what the hell are you doing with that thing on your head? <laughs> you know what, this rain might be getting, I don't want to ruin my camera. I don't have the uh, waterproof casing on. <laughs> it did start to pick up a little bit. Um, I might turn back. I'm fine, but this camera I worry about, I don't want to tempt fate. I just got this GoPro, uh, actually for I moved here, but I'm still getting used to it. I, I think I can put, I'm not sure if I can put the, uh, probably be able to put the, uh, the waterproof casing on the headband strap. That's what I should do. Oh, also uh, Okinawa is full of uh, naval air bases, so an army and all the US Armed Forces, so. Get a lot of jets flying around. Um, <laughs> it's just like being in San Diego, where I'm from. I'm gonna turn back because uh, I don't know. This is better done on a nice sunny day, which you see a lot of those. It's gone. Oh, but at least I know there's a uh, gas station here, which for me, gas stations are always like little convenience stores. I'm sure it's fine, but I like some people I've seen on YouTube who like to put their camera near uh, microwaves and film it blowing up stuff. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> so I said, being exposed to my, I'm just walking faster because the car is turning in here. Yeah. Um. So I say, I say if a GoPro could withstand uh, being hit by a few microwaves in, in close proximity, I, I should be fine. 
you know, I kind of forgot if I walked this way. Oh man. Did I walk down here? I think I walked down here. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm gonna get off the road. That's another thing I appreciate about um, Japan. This is probably universal, so it's not just an Okinawan thing. These people are polite. See, now me, when I started high school, um, not high school, I'm talking about uh, elementary school. Um, so I'm getting away with my age here. Okay, so I started school in 1975, kindergarten. Didn't go to preschool. Um, my brother did, I didn't go. So I guess he started when he was four. Okay, I started when I was five. Um, now, from that point on, throughout uh, elementary school, uh, etiquette was something that was like just part of your uh, etiquette classes, was just part of the educational system. Um, and of course they were doing that way before the 70s. Uh, you, there's films you can see on, on YouTube, you know, 60s, 50s stuff. So, so pretty much that stuff died in the 70s. It died with my generation. Um, it just so happens that all the stuff that I learned and and just growing up, it's and probably for different reasons, but it's identical to uh, a lot of the stuff that are normal in uh, Japanese culture. So <laughs> I fit right in. Now, keep in mind, I am a, I am an American, so there's certain parts of me that can be you know jerky or whatever. So. Yeah, so, but I know how to act, you know what I mean? There's a difference between knowing and not knowing. Um, let me walk faster, someone's turning in. Um, yeah, you know, so there's people that actually don't know how to act, even if they try it. You know, there's a difference between you, you know what to do, and then you choose not to, versus you don't even know what to do. Uh, I am thankful I know the difference between the two. <laughs> yes. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot in common uh, with uh, a lot of the customs and things like that. Like I said, you know, some of the stuff might have been for different reasons, but it, it, the net result is the same. Taking off my shoes, entering a building, uh, used to that. Yeah, mine was straight up, you know, we don't want you ruining that shag carpet. Remember we had the big long shag carpet, it was like so long that you had to rake it to make it look all nice. Like you would vacuum in and then we would have to get a rake and rake it so that the fibers stood on end. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Think about it. Totally 70s thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, now, it could be because of Okinawa. So there's a there's a very strong U.S. presence in Okinawa because of the military bases. So, so I don't know how it would be in uh, mainland. And like I say, if I was in Tokyo, but um, I'm not getting any weird vibes or anything. I've been here before, but. It's not what you want staring at me or something like that. Interesting enough, you get people staring at me. People stare at would stare at me every day of my 43 years on this planet, walking on you know any any street USA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what the hell? What, what what's up with that? You know? It sucks. You know, it shouldn't be that way. I I'm not sure. If I missed my turn, I think I did. Let's see. I think I think I got lost. I'm not sure. Hold on. I have to uh, backtrack because I remember seeing a couple walking a certain direction. I think I think I have to make a right across the street. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna cross right here, I, I think. I, uh... Yeah. 
Okay, so anyway, yeah, that's that's weird, right? All country people didn't treat me right. What's the hell? Um, yeah. Yeah, so basically I have to, have to have my defenses up every time. I mean, I can almost feel the tension when I'd exit the house. It's like, shields up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember these green pylons. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Kind of got discombobulated. Yeah, yeah, this is right, this is right. Yep. Okay, back on track. Yeah, I'll remember this... Uh, Calorie mate. Oh, these are like uh, um, health bars and stuff. I've heard of that. Ah, lots of uh, health drinks and water and you know, kind of like the stuff you might see at GNC. Oh, this coffee. This uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. I think I have a couple of cans of that in the refrigerator. Um, it is cool. Um, some of the same companies have the equivalent of their products here, and some of the stuff is just they don't have it in the U.S. as far as I know. Yeah, it is raining. I'm fine. Just hope the camera is. I think I have to go where that car is turning. I'm not sure. Ugh. Yeah. I recognize the smell I smell. It smells like a septic tank or something. I think I turn in here. I think. Yeah. I recognize the uh, yellow. Try to stick close to the wall. Oh, another thing I've noticed, not a lot of honking. Not a lot of honking going on. A lot of barking. Um, yeah, you know, cars. I've seen people honk their horn just, I don't know, they had nothing better to do. They were waiting in traffic and just started honking. It's weird. <laughs> I remember seeing that, I looked at the guy, I'm like, really? He just starts laughing. <laughs> um, you know, in some places, you know, you'll get fined if you honk. You know, it's kind of like, don't honk unless it's, like, needed, you know? I might have made the wrong turn. I might have made the wrong turns. I'll find my way. <laughs> might have made the wrong turn. But I'm not sure. I'll know when I come out. In this street right here. Let me stick to the, to the side. Yeah, because if I, if I go past that greenhouse thing, I know I've, I'm in the right place. I think... Uh, hmm, I'm not sure. Well, you know what? Actually, I don't mind the rain. Um, I've spent the last few years of my life indoors, you know, around computers. Sometimes I'd get out because I was working at home. I'd get out of the house just to... Have the rain hit me. Um, I did go down the wrong direction. Um, <laughs> I'm lost, <laughs> but hopefully I'm I, I, I'm close by. I just I, I might have turned too soon. I'll find it. I'm basically walking in the general direction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I took a phone with me so I can call my wife. <laughs> If I get lost, <laughs> please help me. <laughs> See, we just moved over here, so she doesn't know the neighborhood that well either. <laughs> We're both screwed. <laughs> They'll have to eat me. Um, oh crap! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try walking up here. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Even though I know this isn't. Place to go. Totally. What I should do is look at the tops of buildings that were near uh, um, our house. 
This is actually a cemetery. Where we're at right here. This is a cemetery right here. I remember us driving past it, but we were on the other side of the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found my way again. That's the other side of the greenhouse we passed on the way here. It's It's got to be. I mean, something that makes sense. Yeah, it's in two sections. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I just turned too soon, that's what happened. I, I figured that, but... Males Corazon. All right, Males Love, is that what that means? <laughs> love, Corazon, means love in Spanish or something like that. Me Corazon, my Corazon, my love. Anyway, um... Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, this is how I, this is how I find my way around any city, every city I've lived in. Um, I'll, I'll just like walk around. Usually I walk around with the intent, maybe find some cool little coffee shop or something like that, but um, I would need a car to do that. Uh, but I will, I will do this once I know the uh, neighborhood better. I, I'll do this a few more times so that I don't get lost. I'll just keep going further, but somebody left a can on the ground. You bastards! <laughs> yep. Yep. I didn't get lost. Yay! <laughs> I mean, I did get lost, but I found my way back. Yay! Yeah. Well, the rain didn't really increase that much. That was cool. If anything, it was a good walk. Exercise. Exercise is good. Oh, this is our car, actually. <laughs> This is a, uh, one of those Daihatsus. Yep. A little compact car. I like it, she doesn't like it. <laughs> I mean, it is a very common car here, but whatever. Since I'm not used to it, it's cool to me. So it is, yeah, it's like the prettier version of those Scion cars. So. All right, that was our that was our little journey. Oh yeah, what's this? This is, um... Uh, it's like natural gas or something like that. It's definitely, those are gas lines. Oh yeah, so this is where we take out our trash. Um, so the whole neighborhood doesn't put their stuff in here. I mean, not neighborhood, the whole complex doesn't. We only did it the day before. Um, you have to have special uh, trash bags for uh, metal or plastics, things like that, glass. Um, uh, they call them burnable bags, and there's special ones. You have to put everything in and then throw it in here. You can't just throw stuff in there in any, like, shopping bag or something like that. Uh, yeah. First, I thought it was because the bag was special so that when it's burned, um, you know, certain chemicals aren't released. But I'm like, but if I'm throwing in plastic bags too, then... That Negates that, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whatever, but you got to pay for that. You pay for those stupid bags. If you live in a house, you don't pay for trash service. Service, but if you live in an apartment, you do. So, uh, yep. Um, whenever possible, it looks like people will uh, farm the land. So you'll see that a lot in between houses and. Things like that. Yep.